Hey Virgos, hey Virgie, how y'all doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another series, Virgo. Virgo, look at that found. Tatiana's fortune cards. So nice. Look at how nice that is. And she tells you have pictures. She tells you about different stuff. I think that's so nice. So let's see what's going on. We're going to go ahead and <clears throat> pull the cards out and see what you want to tell you. See what the creators want to tell you. Whatever you believe in. Okay. Let's shuffle them. My wrist hurting today. They gave us four already. Let's see what it is. The horseman, the tree, home, and a key. Oh, I made that. Okay. Let's hmm. see what they are. I'm doing the video, boo boo. Look. No. Okay, we're going to start with. The, let's see which one comes first, okay? Don't listen to it again, please. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go with the house. Oh, right, let's see. The house. Oh, whatever one comes first. Okay. The tree. Symbol, sim symbolic of growth. A state of affairs still growing and becoming stronger. Okay, that's the first one. Then we got the house. One's home, but also property. Or if a Accompanied by a certain card, something solid and secure. Okay, now now we got the rider. Symbolizes news on the way, a journey started, the person being ready for, the card is active, and a positive symbol. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm looking for the key. The key. Overcoming pain, also a clue as to the reason for something quite positive something which has been locked may now be unlocked okay now let's go a little bit deeper uh the rider okay this one this call suggests news that has been awaiting is now on the way and as a lucky card the news is nearly always good the rider himself is a gentleman so the bearer of the news should also be someone with good manners and, and a kindly countenance. Even if the news itself is not completely happy, the card, however, promises that once out in the open, everything else begins to improve. Okay. Because of the active nature of this card, it sometimes symbolizes a stirring up of dead events. So things that happen, get ready for them. It's time to face them. Okay, Virgo? Uh, let's see. It says, uh, okay, what is next to? Occasionally, this card could be a person, not someone you love, but literally a figure offering help, a knight in shiny armor who helps move things on in your life. It is always a positive, bright card. So somebody coming to help you, Virgie? Now, let's see what else. Okay, the house. Okay. This card represents your home. It may sometimes mean your family home with your parents, as distant, distinct from where you live now. It is a solid and an anchor in your life. Most often, it would appear next to your own card. If you're, I'm sorry, Virgo. Uh, most often, it would appear next to your own card if your concerns were about where to live or perhaps the acquisition of property if the house is placed okay we don't have a lily ship road anchor okay uh fish apart. this is a happy card it is surrounded by the child moon star clover or if or any other positive card it means your home life will be both happy and extremely important to you so maybe you're moving or going back uh Maybe in your own house. Let's see. The tree. A friend. My, Marion. Myron used to call this the blooming tree. It is indeed a card of strength, health, and vitality. 
and indicates wonderful growth and confidence in any situation. Even better, if it is placed beside a negative card, such as a mouse, snake, or clouds, okay, we don't have that, it has the power to uh, bring negativity. In other words, a strong tree overcomes all other worries. Okay, so we got it next to, okay, the tree also suggests that you can, you should set aside time for thought. If it falls on your own personal or central core, sit in the shade, as it were, and think things through. This is the wise core. If it ever falls beside the key, you will shortly obtain a very important goal. Okay, so it came beside the key. Okay, so important goal. Okay, let's do the key. Let's see what they're saying. And we're going to put it all together. Remember, when y'all look at cards and y'all see what it means for y'all, okay? Okay, Key, where you at? Okay, there you go. This card means success. It also suggests that someone or something, depending on the surrounding cards, may offer a clue to a situation or problem. If it falls near difficult cards, it means a person red will be overcome obstacles. Whatever has been locked away before will now be unlocked, okay? Uh, buy the house, you will buy some property. Hello. This is also a cult card. It suggests a sense of destiny or someone with spiritual guidance. So either you'll get in a home, finna buy some property, on some land, you finna get some land, uh, someone's going to give you a tip on that or either you're moving out of your parents house or whatever into your own uh, If you were homeless, whatever the situation may be or somewhere you didn't want to be The doors are open for you to make that move and you're going to have some reputable people That's going to come and help you whatever situation whether it's removing you out of that situation that was horrible And you get in your own or they finding out about a situation that someone did to you and uh, everything being exposed, you know, and uh, you can move on. You could get, you could breathe now because it's all been exposed. Okay, they say oh, either a goal, so something you want to accomplish. So maybe it's the goal is you, you know, you want it, whatever you want it, whether it was a home or whatever it may be. You got the key to it. You, it's gonna be yours. Everything's gonna open up for you. You can breathe now. Okay, Virgo. Okay, so I got these other little cords, y'all, I made. <clears throat> Let's see what they want else they want to tell you, Virgie. Okay, there you go. This is oval, one side, egg rebirth, fertility, plus even immortality. So, if you're pregnant, congratulations, or you lost a child, they want you to know the baby never, never dies, Okay. Uh, uniqueness and individuality, pushing boundaries while still respect, respecting and honoring tradition, family womb, family womb, feminine life, called I don't know what that word is, means hollow, completely encircles a scared sexuality, sacred sexu sexuality. Uh, that's dicer for child or children, longing, feeling. So maybe, like I say, you lost a child or you lost your children or maybe CPS or whatever took them. You're longing for them. But everything's going to work out right. You're going to get the house, whatever you need to get your kids back. Or if you lost one, aborted, or however that situation went, the child is great. Going to either come. I remember my, my sister daughter had a, a lost a baby and uh she was feeling guilty about that my sister because a lot of things she felt like she you know was cause of the child's death but then my daughter or my niece had her daughter had another baby and the baby looked just like the one that just passed away and she told me she gave it to me when i went visit and she said look at that baby and i said wow this is the same baby that was lost came back okay so, you know, they life has a way of doing things. 
your longing, feeling, circums circumscribed or limited or in the theist of time. Material existence and time, dreams, important events taking place within your mass of you involved in relations, religious or mystical ceremonies. Well, I got another card that goes that y'all. So yeah, don't worry about it. You know, don't now you have a chance if you did lose one or whatever. Not saying that you did. You have a chance to get it right this time. Maybe the situation was not right. Okay? So now you have a chance to change it and make it right. Okay, it says uh, immortality and sin, prostitution or adultery. So maybe, like I say, it wasn't right how it came. The great harlot, dressed in purple and scarlet, spiritual, courage, passion, force, joy, and heat, blood of Christ, Roman church, and Christian, Christian, martyrs, rebellion, devotion, and sacrifice, covered by Jesus' blood, clothing, scarlet, saved by his dying, wealth, power, political and religious status okay so they got you okay whatever the situation is heal yourself you know pat yourself on the back uh forgive people even though i know you don't want to i ask people to forgive you if it's your you are you wishing this this here for somebody that you did wrong to you know you're hoping that the doors open for them as well maybe you've been blocking them in some type of way still holding grudges you know Whatever that means for you, okay, Virgil. Virgil, I want to tell y'all about what happened to me the other night. <clears throat> I was in my bedroom, and all of a sudden, fear came on me real, real tough. And I know it wasn't my feeling. I'm an empath. But anyway, um, so I was feeling fear. So I said, let's go lighting my incense and stuff, you know. And then I would um, I always listen to this mantra. I said, let me put on some mantra, you know. And the mantra I put on was for the seven chakras. I thought maybe my chakras were blocked. So I finally tried to doze off. Then all of a sudden, you know, I was feeling like somebody was coming up the stairs. I took my knife out, I took my weapons out, you know. And then uh, as I dozed off after I did the mantras, I felt like somebody was choking me. So I woke up. So then they say, now nah, put on the other mantra. So I put on the other mantra that I use listen to that really helps and it's for protection so it's protection mantra so when I put that on everything was kind of good and then I looked over to my left on the by my nightstand next to my lamp I have like something for a lamp for candles as well because you know you never know what's going to happen right see that mantra right there I listen to very powerful very helps a lot y'all very powerful so I looked over on the candle lamp and it was black and I, I looked at it, it was a, a red bug crawling up there and I was like, oh Lord, please don't let it be another um, bed bug because the last apartment we had bed bug. So it was kind of big. So I started looking up and pulling up on the internet <clears throat> and it was a ladybug. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I looked up ladybug <clears throat> and I found out, um, hey man, what does it say? What does ladybug mean? And I found out what it mean. Uh, it says, uh, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, what does it symbolize? It says, uh, good fortune, true love, innocence, needing to make the right choices, happy, resolution. And it says, um, protection. Okay, inner balance, security. Uh, okay. So like, oh, okay, so you came to help me. Thank you. So uh, it just sat there comfortably. So I, I made a video on the ancient ones coming back, and people don't understand what I was talking about, but they're coming in different forms and shapes. So I know I'm supposed to be, I'm going to get, uh, like bird feeders, water for the animals, you know, different things I want to, to help because you never know what form they're coming back and help you with. So that was one of the ancient ones came back to protect me and let me know, you're not alone. We got you. So then I start feeling good and relaxed and really relaxed. The, the fear started leaving, you know, and everything. Then my daughter came home. And when my daughter came home, I looked over and the, and the ladybug was gone. I was like, oh, okay, so, you know, you waited till everybody, you know, came around and stuff and really, really was there with me. And so my daughter sat in the bed and she was talking to me about something and she looked up and she said, what is that? 
And I looked, I said, oh, that's the ladybug. I was just, you know, I was telling about what happened. And then she said, that's strange. And when she said it was strange, the ladybug flew, <laughs> was finna go at her, and then said, nah, excuse me, I guess she said, nah. Then she started flying around, and we were both like, I was like, oh, she's sorry, she's sorry. She said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I was like, I really appreciate you. You really helped me, you know, and stuff like that. So I started telling her. So she calmed down, and she sat back on the top of my bed. So I got a cord like this, <clears throat> and I said, come on, let me put you outside. Cup open, you know, my window was open, and I put her outside and let her go. Yeah, that was interesting, right? But then after that, I I, um, I made a poem. And, you know, I always ask our ancestors because they've been here before in different time, different seasons, different ages. So I always ask them, well, what I need to do, show us what to do during this age, okay, how to survive this and give us your gifts, you know, and what we need to get to the next level. So my mom was a poet, <clears throat> and I guess a lot of my family is too, but... You know, I really, I dabbled, dibbled and dabbled, but not really. So this is something I came up with. Well, they came up with me in my spirit. We don't, why don't you come to save me? We died together. But why was I born first and you came years later? The abuse was fierce. It changed me because you were not born yet. That was not fa fair. Why did they do that to us? Now I'm old and dying again. But you are youthful and living your life without me. Have you forgotten me? You're pa you passed by my hospital room and stared at me. I know you feel me. Please come and put your hand on me or in my room to feel your healing energy. The love that was once ours to share has been stolen. I see the shadows. They laugh when I'm asleep. They tricked us, my love. Remember me just for a moment. Heal, protect yourself for what's to come. Lean over. I will whisper the secrets I know for your, for your survivor here so you can stand and fight until we meet again and be born again or soar through the cosmos holding hands intertwined together as one again, high above where they can't reach us. So many, so my beloved, I say goodbye for the first time on this round because never again on the other rounds from our, from your heart mind soul spirit shadow and light until our souls open again we are intertwined so that was sweet you know i was crying inside but anyway thank y'all virgie virgie hope this helps in some type of way and a message resonated or uh, you got a message yourself out of it okay all right this is your girl ruth signing off Would you like subscribe share and comment i really appreciate it all right love y'all bye